Praise God, praise God. I am back. I pray that you are having a blessed day continuously. So, you already know one thing I love about, and I'm mentioning this on purpose, by the way, you know, because a person is hearing, because people hear what they want to hear. And the enemy is always at work because he's the prince of the air. Why is she always mentioning that she fasting? Trying to provoke you, trying to encourage you to fast, realizing that. When I was in California, the main thing I was taught by my leaders is, if you don't fast, <laughs> you won't last. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why some of you are getting wore out as we speak, because you're not fasting. You can't do this in your own strength. No, no, no. Let me walk, walk with me. Walk with me this morning. When we're out in the world, you know how, because what people don't understand, everybody that is saved wasn't always saved. So, and I noticed the most people that God used to believe it or not are people that have my kind of background. Like we come from doing whatever, truth be told, whoever. Yeah, you heard me. So what I'm saying is that God used the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Meaning that we knew how to, we were street smart. We, we knew how to get it, how we got it. You, you understand what I'm saying? So now when you, we get saved, some of you think you can operate the same way. I just do it through my own strength. You will literally wear yourself out. This is a spiritual walk. I'm going to say it again. This is a spiritual walk. And in these spiritual streets, you better have some spirit. You cannot do this in the flesh. And that's why a lot of people are wearing themselves out literally. Mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. Trying to figure out, why God? I'm doing everything. I, that's it. I'm doing everything. They, they, I'm doing. You are. You can't do everything. That's why he says that. You are strengthened through Christ Jesus. It has to be a spiritual connection. So I wanted to ask a question. Whose side are you on? Oh, I'm about to go in. When you say you love God and you want to serve God, are you truly serving God? Or are you serving yourself? Or are you doing what you want to do? Because a lot of people say, well, we say the sinner's prayer, right? I accept the Lord Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Do you understand what that means when you say that? As my Lord and Savior. That means not only is my Lord, he's my Savior. But this is where it really gets strong. Meaning that you're going to have to live it. Do I walk like Jesus want me to walk? Do I talk like Jesus want me to talk? Do I do what Jesus want me to do? The reason why there's so much disobedience out in this world. It's because people, I just got to be real. And, and that's why, I don't know if y'all see it in my spirit. There's a certain urgency. It's like, I don't know. It's like after what happened, happened, which I'm not allowed to speak about right now, at least per God. When I saw all that, something happened in my spirit. I. It's like a sense of urgency, like. It's like God was telling me, that's why I need you back ministering on a level that you've never ministered on. He said, because most people are doing their own thing. Oh, I just got to break that thing down this morning. You guys, most pastors, most preachers, most teachers, I have nothing against people that are doing business. I have nothing against people that have more multiple streams of income. But I got to tell you, like God said it. That's all y'all worrying about. y'all. And then the crazy part is, now y'all got everybody to believe in that. If you don't have money, this and that, then you're not blessed. You didn't hear what I just said. And so now people are focusing on the blessings rather than the blessor. Most people are trying to build businesses and, and homes and this because they want to look blessed. But I'm going to be real with y'all. A lot of y'all look blessed. But you ain't got no power. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. You ain't got no power. You look blessed. You walk blessed. You talk blessed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. However, can you truly lay hands? Or uh, uh, better yet, at night. You see, I, 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 I'm going to tell you something. I would love to be looking at uh, most people by 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Because that's what's going to tell me two things. Are you sleeping with the peace of God? Thank you, Jesus. Or... Are you sitting up there talking about moaning, groaning, I can't sleep? That's a spirit of distress. That's a demonic spirit. Okay, my brother about to come in this car. I, I'm, I'm rolling today, y'all, but I'm also trying to be obedient with what I see. So, all I'm getting... You got it. That's right. So, 
let me tell you something. Choose whose side you're going to be on for real. And that means doing what God say do. Too many people, no, no, I'm going to say it how God said. Too many of y'all are, are, are y'all fickle. What does that mean? Y'all scared. Y'all scared to tell the truth. Y'all scared to say this. Y'all scared to say this. Oh, my God. Y'all better stand up. For Y'all better stand up. It's time to stand up. God says it's time to hold the bloodstained banner. It's time to say. That's what. Wow. Well, I, I know it's going to sound crazy, and that's fine. I wish I lived with the apostles. I would, I'd have been the third. I'd have been the thirteenth apostle. You could say what you want. Somebody put that in. The, I'd have been the thirteenth. I'd have been the first female apostle for real. You can say what y'all want to say. I'm. I'm talking about legitimately, because I'd have been right with them. We had to turn this world upside down, and they did. But here's the thing. That is the same blood they had, the same blood we have. The difference is this generation running after money, honey, funny, want to be a star. I, and let me tell y'all something. What happens? I love singing. I love preaching. I love teaching. And I promise you, I could go here. I can go there. All I got to do is bow down. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, and, and I'm going to let y'all in on a little transparent secret. Most of y'all do do it because y'all want to fit in. Y'all want the, the, the <laughs> y'all get it. Y'all want the, you want to be with the, the it crowd. Oh, let me just say, you want to be with the celebrities of the gospel and this and that. And, and every time I think I want to do it, you guys, they show me who they really are. And I'll be like, oh man. And, and then, and then I come back down to my country gully self. I love me. Not in an arrogant form. I love who God made me to be. I don't want to be anything else but who God have called me to be. And what I'm saying by that is this. Too many of y'all faking and jaking. Because you look at this and you want to be that. Oh, let me just tell it. I don't want to say no names today. I'm seeing, especially in the, we're going to call them, top gospel figures i don't even want to say name celebrities that's y'all say that they lose their way because they start acting pompous they start y'all know don't, don't don't play games don't play games and if we say anything the first thing y'all say is oh you just jealous of what they ain't got they done lost their anointing yeah they got money they got status y'all all know them but they've lost their anointing and, and i don't know i've never been a betting woman Anointing public figure. Anointing public figure. Anointing public. Y'all crazy. I'm going with the anointing all day long. <laughs> because I got some stuff I'm dealing with. Uh, 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 let's be real. People need us. When you are anointed, I can speak that word to you. When you are anointed, I can lay hands and heal you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you are anointed, I can go places. I can do the hallelujah by the anointing. Let me tell y'all what Jesus did. I, I love telling. I told this story the other day. Jesus said, the Bible, and this is Bible. I, I call it Bible on purpose these days because I want y'all to know I'm not just talking. The Bible said he made himself of no reputation. What am I saying? He didn't even have a place to lay his head. <laughs> trying to tell y'all something. Jesus came as an example. They say, the Bible says, and, and also when you look at the other books, I'm talking about the way that scholars look at it when they do the in-depth research. On purpose, every time they invited Jesus to a meeting, and that's, how they, that's why they didn't like him, because they start understanding how he rolled. They would try to put him in the front seats. And Jesus said, mm, mm Jesus would purposely go to the back of the room. And this is what Jesus would do. Jesus would look to see who want to be healed and who want to be delivered. Now, they were trying to, you know, be the first and Sadducees, trying to just, you know, kind of like talk pompous and be pompous. And you know how when elite people get together, you know, it's like all that or whatever. Jesus never did that. Jesus was looking, who want to be healed? Who want to be saved? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. Why is it that this generation and the church today, this is what we do? We're looking to be put in a big place sit in the front have our name in billboards have our name in lights have everybody bow down to us when jesus never did any of that jesus would who want to be healed and then sometimes the man by the pool he would ask him do you want to be healed because some of y'all like being a victim because it gets you attention 
Lord have mercy. I'm on one. I'm on one. I'm on one. Well, I got to go to another appointment, you guys. So I got to go. But I'm on one. So I'm going to leave y'all with this. Whose side you on? Because in the name of Jesus Christ, you got to pick a side. Because guess what? People are showing who they are. And a lot of people are on the devil's side. Truth be told, even the ones that... It, Y'all don't want that though. Y'all don't want that right now. I'm telling you, I've seen some stuff that I can't believe, but then he said it would happen. So, all right, you guys, God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. How you doing, my brother?